Hey everybody, John Hemans from Open Heaven Church and Kingdom Reign Ministries with you again. Um, I have a prophetic word for the result of the United States presidential election, uh, which we start getting the results here tomorrow morning. Today's the morning of November the 3rd here in Australia. We're we'll one day ahead. Um, so I was initially reluctant to um, to release this prophetic word because I, I don't, I, I'm not comfortable with um, being seen as some sort of political pundit or political prophet. I'm just um, my whole focus is the is the kingdom of God and how the kingdom of God is expanded across the face of the earth. But I'll just um, I'll share with you what I felt um, the Lord say to me this morning and. Um, and you know that the, the scripture says, "Let the you know let the prophets prophesy and let the others judge." So um, I know some people will judge this word harshly; others will receive it. Um, the end result is is not up to me whether you receive it or not. It's my responsibility to share what I believe the Lord has shown me. So um, I felt the Lord say this: that there is a blue wave threatening to engulf the United States of America. Now that blue wave obviously is, represents the uh, the the Democrat side of politics. But I heard the Lord say, for the sake of my remnant and for the sake of the gospel, I am releasing a red wave. That red wave is the blood of my son, Jesus. Donald Trump will win a second term and will enact laws that will protect the clear clarion call of the gospel going out as never before. Multitudes are in the valley of decision. If the church, the ecclesia of God, will now rise up into her true identity, salvation will be poured out across the nation of the United States. This is the red wave, salvation. It is pure and it will be held up by the ecclesia of God as a holy standard to run to. The church will once more point to the cross of my son Jesus and salvation will pour out. The only path to awakening is through the cross. Embrace the cross and the nation will thrive once more. The, the, there is a call going out to the United States of America from God to return to him and the nation will thrive once more. There will be huge upheaval for the next four years, but those who commit completely to my call will thrive in unexpected ways and walk in peace, even as the nation wallows in anxiety. I felt the Lord say that the spirit of fear has been loosed over America, and with it, trust is being destroyed in institutions that have stood for hundreds of years. I believe the media in all formats um, is about to be exposed as the consort of the Jezebel spirit. In other words, the media has played a part in trying to derail um, what God wants done in the United States of America over the next four years. I heard the Lord say, for my plans to unfold, the church must humble herself at my feet and receive directly from the throne room what to do, when to do it, where to go, how to go about the things that I have for you. Uh, I also believe that the Lord was saying that the spirit of mammon, which has enabled greed and covetousness as, um, as a stronghold across the United States of America, is about to be bankrupted. The spirit of mammon is about to be bankrupted. And I he heard the Lord say, America, choose now whom you will serve. Um, I'm doing a prophetic ministry meeting this coming um, well, it's Friday, it'll be Friday in the United States, Saturday morning here in Australia. Um, invite you guys to be part of it if you'd like to. Um, the details are going to be on the screen. And, um, you know, we've been praying here um, as often as the Lord leads us for the United States. And I, I believe that God is going to have his way. God bless you.